Hi, I'm Silvio, and this is part 13 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. Details and movement. From now on, you need to be obsessed with both if you want a good and realistic result. From the moment of your birth, you move, you learn to walk, to run, to ride a bicycle, to drive, and your brain will attract your attention each time you rise, see a movement. A Christmas village completely static will only attract yawns and rosiness. But even if filled with details, your Christmas village still lack the power of attracting the attention of others. And that will be the task assigned to attractions, to table accents and other accessories scattered all over the entire layout. But maybe it is a little too early for them. Let's start from details. Let's start from fences. On the market you will find the many and many types of fences to use in your Christmas village. Uh, let's see some of them. Let's start with this uh, little white fence. It represents a wood fence, of course, and uh, maybe it is a little too short. Uh, if you compare the, the scale of your figurines and your buildings, but anyway, a suitable uh, fence. The support is not any less than uh, some green uh, grass, and without it, them, uh, the fence uh, wouldn't be standing. Second type of fence, this one, nothing less, than, nothing else than a completely Victorian fence, maybe a little too massive especially the pillars um, and uh, maybe a little <laughs> too grey. You start from uh, the bricks that have, uh, that have the same color of the rest. Useful also, maybe too massive, it will hide some elements of uh, your village if you, if you place uh, it uh, in front of them, especially if the uh, items, uh, if the accessories are a little shorter than the fence. Third type of fence, this one, I, I like it uh, because it is a classic fence, uh, antique classic fence, uh, it even has the color of the wood, <laughs> but it is uh, plastic and it stands uh, alone without any uh, support because uh, you just need to bend a little the wires that hold together all the little pieces of the fence and uh, I use especially along the railroad and uh, this way. Another type of fence is this one uh, absolutely no uh, lights at all but it simulates some lights um, still Victorian style but mm, a little more detailed with some gold and uh, not so massive uh, the pillars aren't, aren't too massive and if you compare the, uh, the height of those two plastic fences this one is better suited for the scale of your figurines and your buildings and I've also used uh, many times this type of uh, fences last type of fences I will show you right now this one canal fences I use it massively in my Christmas village it is a, uh, a very uh, useful uh, fences because it has the correct height and uh, it isn't massive, it won't hide anything. You will still be able to see everything through the fences, even if you place it in front of some uh, little, uh, uh, little baby, little uh, boy, or little uh, tree. Very, very, very special for me, this one. I will continue to use it and I will buy it every year, some pieces, because uh, I don't know, uh, maybe uh, I broke them uh, sometimes because this kind of uh, fences is composed by uh, two pieces and the real fence and, and the support. And just glued to them together, you can see that it, they are just glued together and you can break them uh, very easily. 
but uh, I prefer this kind of fences over every type of fences. But if you really don't like any of those kind of fences and want to add your proper fences, you need to build them, of course. Uh, in just a few minutes I will show how to build two types of them, one more realistic, the other less realistic, uh, and one of them I've already used in my uh, Christmas village from last year. But first, let me complete some of the pending tasks uh, before getting uh, into the details on how to create those two types of fences. <music>
Let's just roll that dice My darling ooh, ooh, ooh. You say you need my love But you just ain't getting through Please come around Knock on my door Tell me something never heard before Cause sweet talking to me And giving me love You'll just see me roll my eyes So my darling Ooh, ooh, ooh You say you want me back I say get your head out of the room Woo! Hey! Being your stepping stone distance uh, you can see the result of the work I've done on the last stairs that needed to be completed. Now let me do a final recap concerning the fences. Let me just start uh, by uh, this one. It is very 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 similar to the one I've used uh, last uh, year. Um, the main purpose of having used also a vinylic glue is that the hot glue is not very effective in maintaining together uh, some uh, little pieces of wood like uh, in this case. So the first use of the glue is obviously to glue together all the um, skewers uh, uh, pieces. The second purpose is to simulate some ice, some stalactite here, and it is not yet uh, dried uh, because it's not yet uh, very uh, clear, very transparent, but uh, you have a pretty good uh, preview of what the final result could be using this technique of making some uh, fences. Obviously, this type of uh, fence need also to be painted. Uh, it's too too rough to leave it in this way. The color is not very 
um, similar to the original wood or very similar to original fences uh, is far from reality so you need to uh, paint it uh, the other type of uh, um, of fences same thing but the result is quite more realistic there is a slight difference in the color of the woods between the vertical uh, wo woods and the horizontal wood like in this case um, still need to let the glue dry a little more but it started to be uh, transparent and uh, also uh, the glue tend to retract a little when drying and uh, someone may have thought that it was exaggerated to add uh, such an amount of glue but uh, it tend to retract as uh, you can see and uh, this one with the wood with, with real wood not uh, um, worked wood this has been manufactured this has been tooled and this one come from real uh, little stick of wood just chopped just cutted and so it's more realistic not one fence will be identical to the other in this case too let's just remove this small piece of glue there you can see that the distance uh, it's very uh, similar but the form may vary it's variable in this case too and uh, the glue simulates uh, as much as possible uh, real uh, ice real snow uh, transformed in ice uh, okay that's the other example some other example this one is almost completely dry is the first one I've made and you can see here that the glue is almost transparent and uh, a very cute effect concerning the uh, the eyes um, and the other uh, glue has completely uh, retracted and is now almost uh, perfectly transparent obviously I can't finish the sequence like that I need to put them where they belong just another word concerning these fences here uh, you have noticed and I marked also on the paper while I was uh, creating it that I've lived just one centimeter from this side and two centimeters from this side the reason is simply imagine you want to put uh, another fence just uh, aside this one the distance between uh, each vertical uh, part is three centimeters having two centimeters here and one centimeter here if you take this one and you put it right there you will have three centimeters between this vertical section and another one and so on is to maintain symmetry between uh, all the part composing the final um, fence in this case it's different because uh, symmetry isn't so respected and uh, I will need to leave some space between uh, fences like this for example uh, and it, it's totally another kind of fence <laughs>
cover six centimeters of length and the fences you just bought are only 4.5 centimeters what will you do take another fence and cut it until you get the correct length I find it more clever to learn how to build your proper fences and then find on the market the fence that suits better the vision you have for your Christmas village and use them both together to bring diversity because diversity is simply magnificent. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.